Okay, guys. Hi, I am back. It's Melly, and as I said, I am doing my Swoon Read book book collection in two parts. This is my soft cover, and now I'm doing uh no, I did my hard cover with only my camera stopping once, and now I'm doing my soft cover. So, first, I have two arcs I would like to mention. This was kindly sent to me by Danica Stone. Thank you, Danica. I appreciate it. I can't wait to get to this. This lovely book was sent to me kindly by Swoon Reads, and it's Katie Upperman's new release. How, uh, coming out, uh, August of 2019, How the Light, uh, gets in, which I cannot wait to read this. Uh, thank you, Swoon Reads, so much for this arc. I appreciate any time you take the time to look at my blogs or appreciate my work. Thank you so much. Um... Let's get back. This is Cindy Anesty's book, uh, Regency. It's about a young girl who does, who more prefers ladybugs and bugs and learning about things in general than actually getting married or pursuing the gentleman. But he sort of just ends up coming into her life anyway, uh, because of an assignment. So. This is Love, Lies, and Spies. Love, Lies, and Spies is one of my absolute... I, this is another very top, top read right here. Uh, Duels and Deceptions by Cindy Anesty as well. Uh, she will run the family estate until she marries the man of her late father's choosing, and then she will spend the days of her devoted wife. Confident in task arrangements, she pursues looking... For a marriage with the help of another gentleman, the gentleman might just be the one she ends up marrying um, after they uh, get her back because she was kidnapped. <laughs> huh. That's why I got it confused. There's another book very similar to that. This one actually is uh, and ties in into um, uh, Suitors and Sabotage, which I spoke about in my hardcover collection. Uh, this is actually about Christmas, but this is very much about two people in the downstairs. And what generally, when you're talking about Regency, what you mean by the downstairs is the servants' quarters. Um, these are about two servants who fall in love and meet each other below the stairs. How to Keep Rolling After a Fall. This is another Carol Cuso book. And... I must, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing Carol's name. The party was at her house. The photos were posted on her Facebook account. There was all evidence anyone needed to condemn Nikki Baylor for a horrible cyber bullying incident. So she's basically condemned in high school for cyber bullying. And then she meets this person who is a wheelchair rugby player. And he might just change her life and help her out for the better. So this is a brand and this is another Carol book. This is how to say I love you out loud. When Jordan Michelson autistic brother joins her in, at her elite school, she's determined not to let anyone know that they are related. Except the guy she kissed might possibly already know. So she might lose the guy, she might not. This is a sci-fi book about a young girl who doesn't know she can travel. Heidi Halig uh, or Halig fans. Heidi uh, did um, a book very similar to this, um, which I cannot remember the name of the book, so I will have to insert it here. Um, but Dreamer, uh, L.E. Delano's books, which there's two of them, Dreamer and Traveler are very much like Heidi's uh, books. And this is basically about the unimaginable, <laughs> the imaginable maybe, that's how I should say it. You can travel to faraway things and end up helping your friends and maybe your family. And this is... Just, I can't wait to read these. I love anything weird, paranormal, magical, just anything of that nature. That's why I can't fake 
girlfriend boyfriend trope in this one. This is actually, uh, there's three books in this. This is a series, and it's by another Kate Evangelista book. And this, um, the boy needs a fake girlfriend to help save him uh, from all of his family questions. This is the first book. I talked about the second in my uh, hardcovers. Amit, Amit Stars and Darkness, Amid the Stars and Darkness, sorry. Amid the Stars and Darkness by Shani Lynn Feener, Feener, I believe, or Shani Lynn Feener. Um, this is basically about a young girl who ends up being mistaken for an alien princess. This is sci-fi. It sounds right up my alley. I can't wait to read it. Wesley James Ruined My Life by Jennifer Honeyborn. Quinn is having a rough summer. Her beloved grandmother has been put in a nursing home. Her dad has a gambling addiction. And now her worst enemy, Wesley James, is back in town. Hate to love, love to hate. This is a book by Sandy Hall, A Little Something Different. I found this in the bookstore, and I have two of them. And they're some of my favorite Swoon Reads books I own. Because look at the cover, you guys. You, oh, I wish Swoon Reads. And it's it's like, it's not even, like, it's a very textured, pretty, like, it's almost like it's a special edition cover. Um, because I haven't, you know... I don't know, it's just very texture, and these little things are popped up. Like, I, I love this cover. Swan Raids! More! Please! More! These are pretty! Um, Leah and Gabe are in a creative, uh, creative writing class. They get the same pop culture references, order the same Chinese food, and hang out in the same places. Unfortunately, Leah is a little aloof. Gabe is shy. It looks like they are never going to work things out. <laughs> They're not sure of one another's feelings, basically. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the other one. And I thought, oh my god, guys. Like, I don't know how I ended up with these. Because I don't know if these are just, like, the regular covers. They slapped on the books at the time these were printed. If these are, like, some of the first Swoon Reads prints ever. Um, I do not know. Like, they're legit books, though. Because this is right on the back, the price. Uh... But they're so pretty. I actually got these at Half Price Books, both of these. Um, if only... If only a magic eight ball could tell how to get through the summer with her perfect sister Margot, home for her perfect internship. Jane is not going to be able to spend the summer writing fan fiction as she had planned. Her sister's coming home. She wanted to stay home, but her sister is perfectionist. So she sort of ends up feeling like she has to compete with her sister and then she ends up getting a job to be away from that. And that's where she might meet the guy. Okay, Sandy Hall, I've been here all along. Ah, uh, guys, this is an LGBTQ plus book. It's a male, male romance. Um, possible male, male romance. It's a love triangle. Uh, there's a male... There's a male. There's a girl. The male male is not sure about which side they're on, basically. Uh, which is like all of high school. Who really knows who they were in high school? I'm a, in my 30s, and I don't even really know who I am at this point. I'm still learning about myself. I think everybody is still learning about themselves. Okay, guys. So, my battery cut off. It died on me. I had to switch out batteries. As I was saying, uh, Love, Fortunes, and Other Disasters by Kim Corrales is a book that I've actually had a long history with uh, because I keep mistaking it for the other Kim book that's out there. Uh, she wrote two of them. One has a yellow cover. This has that bluish cover. So now I actually own two copies of this book, dude. Um, but uh, this is basically about a young girl who... Um, comes from this ham family history of finding love. And the cards basically state it's never going to happen for her, but she's not so sure. <laughs> so she goes out and pursues it. Um, so this is Kiss Cam with 
uh, Kiara London, and I cannot, this is another book I cannot wait to read because blogging, Swoon Reads hit it out of the park and out of the market. Best thing that's F by Maggie uh, and Martin. Daniel's plans for the future were all figured out until she failed. English and her single college application was re was rejected. Suddenly, she's in hot water with very few options because honestly, who applies to a safety school when your mom is a semi-famous college psychic? Um, so I cannot wait to read this. Not well, I like the paranormal aspect, you know, the whole psychic thing. I do believe in psychics. I'm a Pisces. We just believe in the abnormal, okay? The way to the game, the walk of shame. <laughs> Jen has a brand new book coming out, too. I want to mention that. Uh, by Swoon Reads, I believe. Jen P. Nguan, Nguan, um, Ergun. I, I'm, I'm so, so sorry I mispronounced that. I need to learn to names before I ever speak on videos. Um, Taylor Simmons is screwed. Things were bad enough when her de dedication to the studies earned her the title of Ice Queen. But she got drunk at a party, woke up next to the bad boy, and then who knows where it went from there. You will have to read to find out. Uh, and so will I. Um, two trash reputations, one love contact, contract, zero regrets. I cannot wait to read this, and I cannot wait to get Jen's new book. Just, oh, I'm, like, uber happy about this whole thing. What's Romeo and What's Her Name by Shawnee Petrov? So basically what happens, this girl decides to become an understudy, not thinking she would ever get, you know, to be in the uh, play. But she wants to be the understudy to get closer to the guy. Ends up, she ends up having to be in the play and she doesn't know her lines. Let's find out what happens. This was one of my favorite Christmas reads. I actually never did a review on this book, but I did read it. It's uh, My New Crush Gave to Me by Shawnee Petrov. It's basically about a young girl who ends up thinking she'll be perfect for one guy, and she falls for his cousin instead. So, here's the next one. Just Friends by Tiffany Peacock. Uh, Jenny meets Chance for the very first time when she's assigned as his partner in jun junior oral communications class, but after they rescue a doom assignment with one clever lie, the whole school is suddenly convinced that Little Miss really likes having A's, and the most scandalous heartbreaker in school have been best friends forever. It's amazing how quickly a lie can grow, especially when you really, really want it to be the truth. And it says best friends forever. So this might not actually be a romance. It might just be a story about amazing new friends. Um, but I haven't really read it, so I can't wait to read it. But look at that cover. It's so pretty. Um, th these three I'm going to talk about together. This is actually a series of books that is by Kelly uh, Tarun Shankard and Kelly Sakis, Siakis. Uh, this is is a paranormal a story about friends, and there's three of them. I really cannot wait to read these. And they actually, the reason I picked them up is because they do take place in the 1880s, which is Victorian time. So that's what made me pick them up. Danica Stone's Internet Famous, which is a book I did read and review, and this is about a young girl who is a blogger who watches movies and um, at the same time as chats about them and, and TV shows and stuff. She blogs about movies and TV shows. She ends up actually getting a stalker. Uh, she figures out who the stalker is. Uh, this one, All the Feels by Danica Stone, is another one of my favorites. This is actually more a me. Uh, this describes me when Twilight was happening, except I wasn't in college. I was, like, finished high school, uh, going just on my own for a little bit. Then I went to college. Like, I was in that process. Um, but this reminds me of that. And this is basically about a young girl named Liv who ends up 
going to this Comic Con and changing the mind of this cast and crew about this TV show she loves and she doesn't want this main character to die. And she gets all invested in that. And people just don't really understand her interest, her invested interest in that. And they think it's like, oh, it's just a movie. It's nothing. It's not important. Uh, but to her, it is. One is I actually originally had this in hardcover. And then somehow I lost the hardcover in my mood. Um, this is about Max and Jillian who become friends after Max's father has a stroke. Um, and Jillian's family is got a lot going on. Both families end up having a lot going on, but these two end up falling for each other. This is another Katie Upperman book. And it's by Kissing Max Holland. The Boy Next Door. I read and reviewed this. This is by Katie Van Ark. I wish Katie would write more because I love her book so much. This is about an ice skating pair who are friends, been friends for a very long time, end up becoming a couple. It's one of my favorite books ever um after losing this is another one i believe that's about grief after losing her parents before age 17 aspiring designer kate holt caitlin holt feels like her whole world has been turned upside down that was before she accidentally attracted oh this is paranormal the attention of a demon then she learns her hot bad boy neighbor adrian who might just save her life it's actually half demon half vampire the, uh, the Half Demon, Half Vampire is probably the reason I picked this book up, you guys. And then this is Queens of Geek. I r need to reread this as well. Charlie likes to stand out. She's a blogger, actor, promoting her first movie at SupaCon. This is her chance to show fans she's over her public breakup with co-star Ryan, Reese Ryan. That's when internet-famous cool girl actress Alyssa Huntington arrives and seems Charlie's longtime crush on her is in a one-sided as she thought and then of course there's another Taylor who is Charlie's friend and Jamie who is Charlie's friend and they end up falling for each other as well uh, I would like to thank you guys for being here today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed both of my swoon reads videos uh, and I hope you love seeing my collection let me know how it goes I'm planning to do a top 2018 video very soon because I haven't gotten around to that I do have about five to ten books I maybe want to talk about it might actually just be about five because 2018 reading sucked um but I should do that very soon because it's February now uh I generally do that in the blog but this year I feel like doing a video on it uh so let me know what you guys think please come back and visit very soon bye